Okay, welcome to the last project for PowerPoint. As always, make sure you save it with underscore two to submit to Sam for grading. I have the instructions printed, so I'm just going to go ahead and follow those um, by paper. If you wanted to print yours off and do the same, you can, or you can split your screen. So we're going to get right straight into it. Step one, as a member of the planning department in Santa Rita, California, you are developing a presentation about historic pres preservation to give to neighborhood groups and other interested residents. Reuse the slides from your support file and insert them in the same order at the end of the presentation. So I'm going to click on slide four so that when I insert it goes after. Go to insert, new slide, reuse slides. I'm going to browse my downloads and here is my support file. So I'm just going to go one, two, three in the same order. Step two, change the design of the presentation as follows to use the theme and colors the department uses for all of its presentations. So we are going to change the theme to office. So go to design. Here is your themes. You're going to click on the drop down to find office. And then change the theme colors to red over here in your variants is where you'll find colors and choose red. Step three, insert a footer. So we are going to go to insert, header and footer, choosing footer. And we are going to type in Santa Rita Planning Department. Oops. Okay, and it says to include the slide number and doesn't want you to show it on the title slide. So we click apply to all. So then you've got here's your footer with the slide number and it doesn't show on the title slide. Step four on slide one, enter Santa Rita CA in the subtitle. All right. Step five on slide two, Insert a picture as follows. Use the content placeholder on the right to choose a picture. And we are going to go to our downloads and choose the map. B, crop out the dark red rectangle. So make sure it's selected. Go up to your format picture tools and go to crop. Click on crop, you get these black lines. Click hold, drag up until you don't see the red rectangle anymore. Click on crop to turn it off. Step six, with slide two still displayed, format the bulleted list as follows to improve its organization and appearance. Here's our bulleted list. Delete the list item forest road. So I'm just gonna highlight and hit my backspace button. B, increase the indent of the list items Mansion Cove, Overlook Ridge, and Pioneer Square. So that's these three. We wanna increase the indent. So we are gonna go here, increase indent. C, change the font color of the entire list to dark red accent one, darker 25%. So I'll highlight the whole thing. You can go here on your quick tools or you can go up here. And we are looking for dark red accent one, darker 25%. Bold the level one list items. So these are the ones that are out the furthest are level one. These guys are level two. So we are going to bold these three. Step seven, remaining on slide two, animate the text on the slide as follows to make the content more engaging. Animate the content placeholder on the left using the flying ent entrance animation. So we're going to click this whole square and we're going to go up to animations and we're going to choose fly in and animate the text all at once. So we're going to go to effect options all at once and then it also asks for from left so we're going to go effect options from left. D change the duration to one second to give the audience time to read the text so we will go I'm going to make sure we have that selected again and we go to duration and we go up to one. Step eight on slide three Insert smart art as follows to make the four review steps more vivid. Convert the bulleted list. So I'm going to select the whole thing on the outside so that dotted line turns to a solid. 
and we are going to convert to SmartArt Gallery. So we're going to go to the Home tab, Convert to SmartArt, and we want to choose the Basic Timeline. Oh, catch up to me. Basic Timeline. Change the SmartArt Style to Moderate Effects. So we're going to go SmartArt Tools and Design, and we're going to find our SmartArt Style group here. I'm going to hover until I find Moderate Effect. There we go. Step 9, with slide 3 still displayed, add the following slide note. So your notes are found underneath each slide picture. Request feedback from city residents. Period. Make sure you add that period in there. And no typos. Okay. Step 10 on slide 4, format the picture in the center as follows to suit the slide design. So resize the picture to a width of three. So I have it selected. I'm going to go up to my format under my picture tools and I need it to be a width of three. B align the bottom of the picture with the bottom of picture four. So I'm going to keep this selected, click and hold on my control button, select picture four. Now it wants me to align the bottom. So I'm going to go Align, bottom. I'm going to select outside here. C says align the right side of the picture. So I'm going to select it again with the right side of picture two. So here's picture two, meaning I'm going to click and hold on control, select picture two. So the, both of these are now selected and it wants me to align the right. So I go align, right. D is apply the simple frame black picture style. So I'm going to deselect the two of them and select picture five again. And I'm going to go up and find the simple frame black in my picture styles. Step 11, with slide four still displayed, modify the animations of the pictures as follows to make them more consistent and smoother. So apply the animation applied to picture four to picture five. So I'm going to click on pool four because that's the animation we like. And I'm going to go up to the animations tab and I'm going to go over to animation painter. It works similar to format painter. So instead of copying the format of one and pasting it wherever you click, it's going to copy the animation. So animation painter is going to copy the animation from here and I'm going to paste it. See that little paintbrush look familiar? click here and I just copy the animation from here and put it on my new picture 5. B, select all the pictures and change the start setting to after previous so that the animations play one after the other. So I select all my pictures now. So I'm going to select the first one, click and hold on control and select them all. Okay, and it says change the start setting. So here's my start and I'm going to go after previous. Okay, step 12, remaining on slide 4, insert and format a text box as follows to provide additional information. So we're going to go to insert and we're going to go over text box and just anywhere in the center here works fine. You're going to move it after. So start typing plus many more historic homes in Santa Rita and no period with this. Change the font size of the text to 48, so you can highlight the text inside or you can also just go control A. As long as you're inside the text box, it will select all text inside. Change the font to 48. C, resize the text box itself, so I'm going to select outside and make sure I select just the text box so that it's not so dotted. I want it to be solid. Okay, so now I go to my format and I'm changing the actual size of the text box. So the height is 2.5, 2.5, pretty close. And the height is going to be, or the width source is going to be 5.5. Enter, lovely. And center the text in the text box. So I'm going to select all text inside again and I'm just going to go center. E, change the fill color of the text box to white. So I'm going to select the solid, that dotted line, I'm going to select it to change it to a solid. And I'm going to change the shape fill to white. 
and the outline, so shape outline to black. F align the text box in the middle and center of the slide. So it's already selected. We're going to go to align and we're going to go align middle, align center. Perfect. Apply the offset center shadow effect from the outer section of the shadow gallery. So shape effect, shadow gallery, outer, I believe it's offset center, yes. Step 13, still on slide 4, animate the text box as follows to call attention to it. So A, apply the zoom entrance animation to the text box. So animations, zoom. Change the start setting to after previous. Preview the animation. So over here is your preview button. Just click on the star. Perfect. Step 14 on slide 5. Change the layout to title only to display the title at the top of the slide. So we're going to go to home. We're going to go to layout and we're going to choose title only. There we go. Step 15, with slide 5 still displayed, modify the shapes as follows to correct problems on the slide. A, send the rounded rectangle. So here's your rounded rectangle. Be careful because there's an inner one as well. Make sure you have the outer one selected. You're going to send that to the back of the slide. So we're going to go to arrange and send to back. B, enter the text renovate in the brown rectangle. So we're going to go renovate. Just click on it and start typing. It works just like that. And then C, insert a rectangle from the rectangle section of the shape gallery. So insert shape rectangle. Um, resize to a height of 2.5 width of 2. 2.5 and a width of 2. E, apply the subtle effect brown accent 5 shape style. So we're going to go to shape styles and subtle effect brown accent 5. That's it there. Apply the tight reflection touching shape effect. So we're going to go to shape effect. I believe it's in the reflection gallery and tight reflection touching. Use the smart guides that you see in figure one to line it up. Perfect.